Hi everybody, this is Donna Scrapbook Sage. I hope you're doing great today. It is beautiful here in the Pacific Northwest and I want to welcome you to a fun event that a handful of friends of mine are putting together. We would like to offer a challenge for you to complete 12 of your dream journals in 12 months. So each month, take a journal that you'd be just like, I really wanna work on this type of journal and plan on trying to complete that in a month. Understand that's a pretty high, high bar there, but I think um, it could be a lot of fun if you are a seasoned junk journal or you're new into it and you just get bitten by the bug. These will be great, a great challenge for you. In addition to that, there's some flexibility in this, so stay with us and I'll share those things with you. But you guys know me, I'm Dawn at Scrapbook Sage, Yvette Qualley. She is a fellow junk journaler. We met each other online through Nevermore Creations a handful of years ago. And she makes junk journals and also sells other artist journals at Yvette's Junk Journal Shop on Kofi. Go check her out. I sell items there. <clears throat> Just wanted to let you know these gals I've been in contact with. Some I know for a long time. Some of them I don't. Trisha from the Cool Cole family, she is is a good friend. Um, we are pseudo family members just because we we just love hanging out together and her kids call me Yammy and um, we have been in business together and we love to craft. We both love making junk journals. Trisha is amazing though, she makes everything. So it'll be fun to see what she pulls together. And then we got Mama Juju crafting on the back 40. She is a riot. Um, our friendship has given us Addie, the cute little um, Western cow journal, and we both are doing our planners for the beginning of next year together using Addie. And then Joan's junk journals and more. Joan is a riot. I love her. We um, met on an online chat, and she is just, she's all heart, and she's lots of fun. She's very... Um, She's very good at put editing videos and instructing people how to do things that we all want to learn how to do. So I'm excited about that. And then Sheila with the Creative Nana, I've been hanging out with her a little bit. I don't know her as well as I know everybody else, but I'm really looking forward to what she has to share. We sort of have a similar background in our careers and um, she's very, um, likes people to be able to make journals from whatever resources available to them so it'll be great for anybody to jump in and make a journal you don't need to have all the pretty digitals there will be free digitals there um, will be um, lots of ideas for people so we're excited about the new year and being able to craft in 2024 and pretty much the theme is going to be We've called the challenge hashtag 12 by 12 junk journal challenge 2024. And the goal is to pick your dream journals and plan to make one every month. That's pretty much the challenge. It's pretty simple. So what are some questions you might have? Um, do you need to make a journal every month? To post onto social media so our goal is just to have fun with you guys and help you check those things off your bucket list so you don't have to make a journal every month if you're like looking at this challenge and you're like I don't think I could do all 12 but I could do three I'll do one a quarter or I can do two or I can make 12 pieces of ephemera <laughs> Or you can be, I'm not a junk journal person, I'm a scrapbook person. Maybe I will do 12 layouts. Um, maybe you're a quilter and you want to work on a quilt or a quilting square. I don't know what your dreams are. I don't know how elaborate they are. I make 300 journals a year, so my journals are really simple. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes I make big babies like this, but um, there are some of those junk journals that you want to spend more time on and it's hard for us to have the creative license or uh, freedom to do that because we're distracted by other things or we get that little I should in my head 
but we if you have a challenge that you want to commit to those should sort of work you towards those goals that are on your bucket list so that's pretty much the heart of the challenge so we understand that um crafters in our circles they may make journals or they may want to make other things or they want to try a painting or they want to try some collage um, so this challenge um, we've opened it up just for the time restrictions and other things that might come up. We just want to provide an opportunity for you to accomplish your crafting dreams in 2024. The best thing about junk journals is there are no real rules, right? I think that's why we're all drawn to the craft. Although I do have a couple rules for um, the gals that I'm calling my dream team. I've already shared them with you a little bit. But we each, it has started hailing outside. We each are taking two months where we're the lead um, dream team member. And all that means is we will post our video on the first of the month for the idea that we're working on. And um, their names will be at the top of all the videos that we all post. So like in January, it will be Scrapbook Sage on top. And in February, it will be Yvette on top so that you can find us all and um, we sort of share the vision together. And they will share in their, on their social media how they're going to approach the challenge. And they're going to approach it a certain way and you could follow their challenge their way or you can keep it as open-ended as I'm presenting here. So I'm all about, I like to make a lot of scrapbooks uh, but there's a few that I want to make for myself. I um, And I want to make at least a couple of those for me this year, like the Dream Dream ones. But I also create for stores. I um, sell my journals and ephemera on um, Line with Yvette and at a local shop called Crafted in the Seaside. So I, there's a lot of journals that I like to make. And I think you guys might have themes and stuff you haven't really had a chance to address. And I want to provide some of those opportunities for you. Um, Yvette, she is a very good instructor. She's very good at beadwork. And she is great at um, showing other people's journals. So she is inspired by other artists. So it's always fun to see what she has seen and what she creates from the inspiration she gets to handle every day. Trisha's Globetrotter, so she has inspiration from all over the globe, inspiration from her family, and she is just fun, and I, um, I'm i always smiling. It's like, oh my goodness, I can't believe you're doing that. But it's so, it's so enjoyable because it's so much out of the box. And I think April's sort of the same way. But she's got her little country twist going on there. So we've got the Globetrotter and we got the gal in the back 40. And then um, we've got Joan, who she is um, from Canada. And she loves just everybody. She has fun following other people. She likes doing, she likes camping. She likes, um, she does the beadwork. She makes really great coffee dyed paper. So I'm, and she's good at editing things and we're all learning, like none of us have had long-term successful um, YouTube channels, but we all want to grow. We all want to add that extra 1% and take it to the next level a little bit, but it takes time to do that. So we're going to make mistakes. We're going to have bloopers and I, that's what's sort of fun about why this group of people like creators like us junk journals sort of lean towards us learning together and enjoying things and not taking ourselves too seriously so i love that and then we have sheila the creative nana and she just has a heart for kids and she has a heart for her family and she's really great at making things um at just resourcing things and using it in creative ways so i'm looking forward to seeing more of her videos and how she's going to spin um, each month, like what she's going to come up with. It will be fun and it will be really great for you guys to say, oh, I've got that. I have access to this. I have access to that. So um, she's going to be a re great resource for that. 
So just re to reiterate, all the team members will post two videos a month and share their styles or their themes. So some people just like, well, I don't have a theme, but I want to do a just junk journal, or I want to do a book um, or a paper bag journal. I want to do, you know, some people might want to do a mini journal or whatever. And I'm all about themes. I can do styles and I will, I might tackle some styles, but I'm definitely a theme girl. And the best part is that we're going to have fun. We're going to have freebies and you are going to have creative freedom because we want you to say, this is my bucket list. This is how I'm going to approach the challenge. And if you get it done, we want you to share your amazing work at the um, at our hashtag, the 12 by 12 Junk Journal Challenge 2024. So we want to see what you make. And if you um, if you follow us, we love that. So. I will be providing the freebies on my Kofi shop and other designers may offer freebies and they may not. I'm, I have kept this really easy for them to participate because 12 months is a long time. So we all have picked um, our own challenge for each month and we all will be a lead for two months out of the year. And then I'm giving people the flexibility to have those challenges be tentative, like their themes and their styles. Because if you are anything like me, I have like 12 or 15 junk journals sitting right behind me that I was really excited about a month or six months ago or nine months ago. I know I will get excited about them again, but I went and worked on other things. And so I didn't get a chance to finish that project because something more exciting inspired me and I ran with that. And I think that is really important for artists to have that flexibility to do that. So if we put a list out there and I say, oh, I know Trisha's thinking about doing a ramen journal and she doesn't do it, <laughs> give us all grace. Um, so um, we will see what we do and it's like, oh, what happened to the ramen journal? There might be a story, so that might be fun to find out what's going on. And then my goal is to have each challenge um, allow each person to function at their highest level of enthusiasm. So we're pretty much just encouraging each other to embrace our personal challenges and inspire one another throughout the year. So let's keep the dream alive. The bonus for us all is to post on your social media and use the hashtag Follow and share the inspiration along the Dream Team and everybody else who has started to participate in the challenge. Remember, this is your challenger rules, so it's a new year and we're going to have a lot of crafty fun. So we hope to see you there. Have a great day and enjoy your holidays. Enjoy the happy new year. And I will see you for sure on the first. If not beforehand, I might do some more tease videos and show you some things that I'm working on. So... Enjoy.